Boom. 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 Chance for Reptus Lifestorm. Leech health from your target as it takes heavy damage over time. It seems like it can proc quite often. I sold my bow. Uh, it wasn't as good as this. It was about half as good. I just hit the guy. Dead. Seems like a powerful proc. Hold on that green dude. Rip. Easy. As you can see, they're dying quite easily. I pull a Maya Guard set. I pull a helmet. Maya Guard. Armor. Maya Guard. Amulet. Maya Guard. Kind of an okay awakening. I think the armor was 1% uh, dex, amulet 1% all. It's okay. You about 300k for all three. For the whole set. I have level 71 ring. Pink. Just trash. Marsh ring. First defense bow. Also trash. Cheap setup. Other than the bow, two mil, three mil. Rock. It's not very good for mobs. The proc does not spread like poison. When rare, when rare poison doesn't spread like that, it just hits one enemy. It's damage over time to a single target, not area of effect damage. It's not very good for mobs. Proc cooldown seems to be around 5 seconds. Could be less. Drop the big bomb. Big bomb makes the enemy less accurate. And it also decreases the damage while simultaneously increasing my damage and allies' damage and armor of both me and allies. Good skill. We're gonna take out the boss now. Testing out proc with aim shot crit boost. There it is. Seven, six, four, five, eight, seven, ten. I couldn't really see what was what there, but it seemed like it was uh, around 7k per tick. 
five or six ticks. About 40k damage. It's not that good. There it is again. Mostly crits. Maybe it's more like 50k, 60k. Rock. Is that impressive? I don't think so. Okay, now for the test with the Swamp Guard bow. Legendary level 71 bow. It costs around 15k or less. Basically zero. You could get it for free. If you really wanted to, somebody will probably give you one. But I'm using has 1% dex. It's not really going to make much of a difference though. The jewels, the lightning jewels, also not going to make much of a difference. taking them out very swiftly as you can see can you see a difference between using the airborne bow and this swamp guard bow eh not really minimal unless you get the proc I mean it's not much difference is it I mean look at this XP boost, no problem. Got that easy. You see, I'm moving left and right. It's too reduced damage taken to me. Pro tip. You don't really need to think much about it, just as long as you move left and right, you should be fine. Moving in wide circles also helps if you're taking. Heavy damage, like heavy, heavy damage. That's good. Good to do. Wide circles along the edges. Especially in Mojira Lair. Look at this damage, bro. Swamp Guard bow. We may see a difference against the boss. Maybe. Well, so far on the mobs, meh, not much difference. On the boss, maybe. Or on the blue dude, he's now a dead blue dude. I'm surprised I didn't hit the barrel. A lot of mobs. Are we going to be able to survive that? Yeah, they ran away. Look at him. I'm too strong. Testing out the fire. Can the fire kill me? Yes, it can. Two fires? I'm dead. Testing out tank again. I'm good. Got hit by fire. I'm good. Maybe the bonus to Dex is helping me out. I'm level 81, so I get bonus attributes. If you're level 71. You will need to watch out. 
you will die. Look at that. Three mages. I'm gonna kill this boss now. Let's test it. Big damage on the boss. We drop the bomb. We are spamming the skills. Jewel stacking the skills with the basic attack. Now we swap to Ebon Bow. Look at that buff. Huge buff. Still taking a large amount of damage. If I was level 71, I probably would have died. You can see I have some elixirs, and I also have a orc shaman effigy buff. Gives you 15% bonus armor. Without that, I'd be dead. We reset the health of the boss. We got bomb, we got AA, where? Rock. There it is. Multiple procs. So the CD's uh, two seconds or less. Proc again. Proc again. Pretty good for boss. As you can see, I'm not blasting. I'm just... I'm chilling. Proc. Proc. Dead. Got some loot. Man, I have to say, the loot on the game is uh, so bad. Let's use daggers now. Bonus to DPS. Huge decrease in health. Note that. Ebon Bow will make you more tanky. Give you 1000 extra health. Daggers? Hey. Eh. All daggers have area of effect damage. You can hit multiple targets. Bows? More damage, slower, no AoE. Daggers? Faster, less damage, more DPS, more AoE. We're continuing to test out the daggers. They seem to be doing okay. A little bit less damage than the bow. Swamp Guard bow and Ebon bow. Less damage than both. More DPS than both. Cool, huh? Took them out swift. New group. I'm going to walk right past them, apparently. No, nope, we're going back. We're gonna take a more line. Yeah.
Uh, Jimba hitting everything. Look at him. Yeah, he likes barrels. Testing our basic attack. DPS? Yeah, it's not really that important. If you have a hundred thousand damage, but one DPS, your skills will still deal one hundred thousand damage. You good, bro. You can have one DPS. It's fine. Who cares? DPS is just for the basic attack. It's so good if it's low. Here we go. You can kind of see though how the daggers they're, they're not good, right? They struggle a little. These are Swamp Guard Daggers, by the way. Trash Daggers. No proc. There we go. Boom. Big hit. We're testing out the... We're testing out how strong we are against a bunch of enemies at once we seem to do okay now we reset the boss half we're going to switch weapon Avon Glade Bow of Triumph let's get him boom 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 Yeah, dude. Clear them up quick. Pretty good. Here it is in the auction. There's the bow. 20k. Pretty scam if you ask me. Give it me for free, dude. Evan Gray bow. Very cheap. 1.5 mil. Could probably get one with three decks for two mil reliably. You can see a very good one in the auction right now. 8.5 decks, 2.4 mil. Pretty good. Subscribe or I'll report you.